Orlando had so many big plays this year, they're hard to re recall all of them, but I want to tell you one thing against Portland one night. He had his season high at 24 with great moves like that one. Orlando, you're coming off. You're really a Laker now. Yeah, it feels good. You know, I feel a lot more relaxed out there. I, I feel a part of what's going on, and things are just kind of falling into place. A guy called me on the talk show the other night and said, what do the Lakers have to do to win the world championship? And this is what I said to him. I said, Orlando Woolridge has to play up to form. And if he does, that's the missing link. Well, that's the challenge that I'm looking forward to. Uh, you know, being there last year, I kind of got a feel for what playoff activity is all right. about. And, you know, I know what's expected of me out there. And I'm just prepared and ready to go out there and looking forward to the challenge. Well, your last game was a great game. Looked like you. Yeah, it felt good to get back out there in the rhythm. I've been nursing a very sore shoulder for the last two and a half weeks, and it's been feeling a lot better. So I was a lot more aggressive offensively than I had been in the prior two weeks. The family's changed. The family's changed a lot. Uh, you know, with my youngest son, Ronaldo, now about a month old. Don't get as much sleep as night as I used to, but I'm beginning to get a little used to it now. Tell me, his brother Zach, his brother Zach is a character, and he didn't know Ronaldo was going to live there. Well, for the first week, I guess he said, well, this is nice. We've got a young kid that's over to visit. But after the second week, he's like, wait a minute, this kid is here for good. So I don't think he took to that very well at first. <laughs> How good is this Laker team? I think we have a chance to be very good. Uh, I think we're a very confident basketball team, and I think we've shown the league that we are for real this year. And I think more importantly, we're believing in each other, and we're believing that we can go out and get the job done. So if we continue to execute, continue to believe in each other, I think sky's the limit. Boy, I'll tell you, you guys are a close unit. Yeah, off the court as well as yeah. on the court. And I think that's one thing that really makes us, you know, a good, complete ball club. Because not only can we depend on each other off the court, we can depend on each other on the court. And I think that makes you a closer unit. And on the court, you've got so many ways to make points, to beat the other guy. Magic getting bad at that. Oh, well, magic creates everything. I think that's one of the things this year everybody's accept a lot more responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, because every night, it's a lot of burden, a lot of pressure put on, say, Magic, you got to do it every night. James, you got to do it every night. I think seven, eight guys are taking responsibility to go out that each night and give a little something extra. You know, I can't help but sit here and look at you, Orlando, and see a real gleam in your eye. And then when I think two years ago at this time, you were in drug rehab. And by golly, here you are. You're well, you're recovered, and making such a marvelous life for yourself. Well, things are going pretty good right now. And, you know, I just hope that my example and things that I've gone through can help some other people. Good. Because when your life goes down, you can't stop and can turn it around, and things do happen for the positive. Who pulled you out of it? Well, I think a lot of caring people and Orlando Woolridge. Uh, you know, I was able to be put in a situation where a lot of people were caring for me and gave me the support I needed. But, you know, the bottom line is I, I was the one who had to make the change. I was the one that had to go out day by day to make sure I was doing the things to keep me clean and sober. So I give a lot of other people credit, but I have to give Orlando Woolridge a lot of credit as well. And I bet your lovely wife, Pat. Oh, a tremendous yeah. amount of credit there. <laughs> now, if this isn't any of my business, tell me. But... If you heard about another player in the league that you knew was using a substance, would you talk to him? Oh, absolutely I would. I would try to give any kind of insight that I could, give any kind of support that I could, and let them know by, you know, what has happened to some other guys, what has happened in my situation, and try to help them in any way that I could. The best thing, best decision you ever made was not to take more money and go play with another club, but rather to stay here near Van Nuys and play with the Lakers. Right, I wanted to stay close to my support system, close to a lot of people who knew what I was going through, a lot of people who would be there when I needed them, and an opportunity to play on a great team like this, and it's been phenomenal. I've always wanted to play the winner, and believe me, this has been a dream come true. Let me see your hand. Uh -huh. You got room for a ring. I, oh, believe me, I would make room if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Orlando. Okay. You're beautiful. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Orlando Woolridge on the Lakers Basketball Network.